video is for a general fucking audience, asshole. Mavis, the quarry diesel, had been doing odd jobs around the railway. She was delighted to get out of the quarry and loved exploring new places. One morning, the fat controller came to see her. I need you to take a delivery of fuel to the scrapyards. The other engines are busy and it's not a job they enjoy. Oh, I don't mind. Is there anything you want me to do afterwards? Just some shunting. I know I can rely on you. She was soon happily trundling along the line. But her mood changed when she arrived. Large piles of scrap lay everywhere. Mavis became a little nervous. A diesel sat waiting for her. Hello, chirped Mavis. I brought your about time you showed up, growled the diesel. Mavis was standing no nonsense. Excuse me, I'm right on time. Are you calling me a liar? I'm sure you've been called worse, she said smugly and flounced away before the diesel could say another word. Later, she was shunting in the yard with Thomas. I can see why you don't like going there. Too right. We're certainly grateful for... Thomas was suddenly interrupted as the fat controller arrived. I thought I could rely on you to deliver the fuel, but the scrapyards told me they haven't received any tankers. But, but I did, sir, honestly. Perhaps you're not as ready for bigger jobs as I thought. You'll return to the quarry until I can trust you again. With that, Mavis sadly rolled away. The next day, Thomas was telling Gordon all about Mavis. I'm worried, he said. This isn't like her. Ha! Ah, she's only a small engine. She should stay out of the way. You've made mistakes too, Thomas said crossly. Anyway, I've spoken to Driver, and we've got a plan. A plan? Gordon laughed. You can't go gallivanting off. The yard needs sorting. Well, said Thomas, you remember that alliance we had? Well, let's just say I owe you one. <laughs> that night, Thomas arrived at the scrapyards with a new train of fuel. The diesel smirked when he saw him. Well, well, well. Fuel and another steamer for the scrap heap. You'll look right at home here. But Thomas just smiled. Have a good evening. And he puffed away. The diesel was livid. I'll have a better one than you, he muttered. He took the trucks to an old siding in the back of the yard. Next to them were the trucks Mavis had brought. This is too easy. If I can get one engine into trouble, I can do it again. I beg your pardon? The diesel froze. Standing in the brake van was the fat controller. Explain yourself. Now! The diesel didn't utter a word. He just stared at his buffers. Very well. Return to your shed. I shall deal with you. Later. The diesel scowled and scuttled away. It seems I owe Mavis an apology. Please, sir, said Thomas, but I think I have an idea. The next day, the diesel was sent to work at the quarry while Mavis went to the station. Waiting for her were Annie and Clarabelle. We're your passenger train, they chimed. I hope this makes up for my mistake, said the fat controller. Oh, thank you, sir. Don't thank me. Thomas here made things right. Well, all of today's work, Thomas smiled. The guard's whistle blew and she happily set off. The fat 
controller suddenly had a thought. Thomas, if you're here, then who's doing your work? Oh, well, I asked... Uh... Uh-oh.